Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 20 of Healing Good Pretty Gear. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Why am I Whatever. I mean, I'm sorry. I just finished watching Pitch Perfect 2 for the first time, so... Mm. No, the hell? Well, I mean, that's obvious. You feel pretty though. She really is. Oh my god! Like, <laughs> she's so pretty. I mean, you know how, like, last season and how I always talked about my best girl, Kirk Cosmo, and it's, that's going to be like that, but with this new girl, because she's pretty, really, really pretty. She is, like, a goddess versus these three. I mean, you got three normal girls versus a goddess. Who are you going to root for? I'm just saying. <sighs> no. Cody! Cody, Cody! Yeah, mm -hmm. you stretch it out, puppy. Hey, y'all! I'm gonna make this plate. I want my water. Don't go for that plate, please. So, no, it's okay. That's possible. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. Long hair, purple. Literally looking like. Scarlet from Go Princess Pretty Care. So where is she gonna stay? Then? Oh. So then, by the end of the series, when you have to go... Okay. Our Umi grew up to be a goddess. Oh my god, my life is in this. Wait, hold on, wait. Um, chick? I forgot she did this. <laughs> Yeah, you're just gonna fall. <laughs> Can we just say she's beauty, she's grace, she'll kick you in the face, please?
Yeah. <laughs> just like that? Are you serious? Are you sure that's all of it? You know you kept one for yourself, right? for 20 something not even 20 19 episodes woman Yeah, maybe find a better way of explaining. She's kind of like, oh, oh my god, what the fuck was that Disney princess name from Frickin' Enchanted? Giselle, I think? Yeah. Catching this bitch ass, coming to fuck up everything. Greenhouse? But it seems like um, Latte wants to stay with them at the end of the day. Excuse me. Bitches yeah, love Nadoka. Oh my god. It's Ali Yuki, bitches. How can you not love her? Utaba. Come on. That's why it's gonna hurt so much harder for me when this show ends and the relationship that Nadoka and. Oh my god. I don't even want to talk about that because we're not even halfway through this damn show. But still, it's gonna hurt. I, uh, 
it's the one thing I dislike about Pretty Cure because I get too attached to the characters. And the biggest thing that I always hate is when the show is over and they have to, you know, go their separate ways. And especially whoever the main character is, the paint cure, they get attached to the mascot, aka a dog, and the fact that they're gonna have to part hurts really bad. Like <laughs> I'm about to cry over this issue for <laughs> Show, but still, like, oh god, when that day comes, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Because when was the last time we had a dog mascot? That was Puff from Gold Princess Preacher, and that was hard to say goodbye to her because she was so freaking adorable. And as a dog lover myself, it just hurts even more. <laughs> Well, I think now he's ridiculously OP, and you three can't really handle him. Hold up, hold up. I catch you looking at us like, mm mm. You are basically saying that you don't want Miss Kobayashi. Mm mm. Male Kobayashi to be a girl. Mm. No, 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 no. Oh, but then that means we're going to see her transformation. Nice. Like, girl been waiting for that since last Saturday. Ooh. Whoever voices my child puppy latte, I love you. Like, oh my gosh, so pure. Like, this is part two to last week's part one episode. Oh my god! This show made me cry too much.
You know, I hate rats. Thank God I live in Florida and I don't have rats there. Oh, this might be the best transformation. Ooh. Oh. It's your oh my God. Damn. I am so sorry, Ali Yuki. No, don't cut you. I mean, I love your transformation, but oh. This is where the budget went, guys. <laughs> that, that was some awesome Yuki SAO Today episode vibes because oh my god, this I can't. Oh my god. Oh, she's so pretty. She is literally all four of the <laughs> outer century. Or Sailor Moon. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Are you telling me that this is the last episode of Radicatch? Oh my god, if it is, that's gonna be so weird because I was expecting it to be like a lot longer. Okay, but hold up. Wait. Are we gonna see her use her heart, though? Because, I mean, I would like to see that merch, please. I'm just saying. Oh, she is! Okay, never mind! So pretty. I might have to buy it, damn it. Oh, fuck. Ugh, I can probably see this on Amazon right now. So pretty. Yeah, I... I think that's it for Radic Catchy. Oh shit. You know why? Because she's that fucking OP. Okay. Mm-hmm. She is literally freaking Aqua. Ooh, that's a cute name. She is Aqua Regina behind Mermaid Melody ish. Like, let's go.
earth sheep. No. Assuming. Mm. Ain't that funny that I got Umi in that name? Umi! <laughs> you are love life. Yeah, you know, I see me, we're gonna call you Umi for short. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, it's a Filipino! You do hear regular Umi Umi voice when you listen to her voice at times, but it's more delicate princess like and I like it because it also gives me feels to Kingdom Hearts 2 when Hayden Panettiere aka Kyrie's original voice actress had to do a princess like voice for Kyrie because Kyrie is a princess of heart bitch but it's sweet I like it it's cute but bruh like this girl is OP as fuck she a little too OP for me but I mean hey at least she ain't like my other hus uh, husband Anos <laughs> in the if that he did in today's episode <laughs> of this bit of DBQ Academy because, oh, but yeah, I like it. I like her. She's just sweet. She brings a little bit more to the table. I mean, this is three teenagers and a boomer. An old woman who is like... <laughs> Probably like 14,000 years old or something, but she still looks good. But she, she's so pretty, and I like her. I feel like they possibly rewatched Go Princess Pretty Cure and looked at um, Scarlet and literally just thought of something. And that's how they got Umi. <laughs> Kira Earth, like, come on now. She's so pretty. Look at her. Yo, where the hell is she gonna live? No, no. She, oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at her hair. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Madoka Aoi Yuki. I am literally betraying her, but you love live. Mm. She's so freaking cute and adorable. She kind of gives me, and I cannot believe I'm, I'm going to compare her to this, and this is only really because of the fact is Miss Aoi Yuki is in this game, Persona FM5. She gives me, like, Haru vibes. You know how, because Haru, this is, okay. This is going to be big spoilers on my best girl, Haru. Um, So if you don't care, go ahead and end the video now. If you just don't care for spoilers go ahead and continue listening it's fine haru is more of a mary sue type character because she's been such um not a shut-in that's more of futaba awayuki um she's been like placed in a privileged life and because of the fact that she's not able to communicate with people who are not as a high of a class of her she you know doesn't know the ins and outs of stuff. So she's very, like, out of touch on her technology base and everything of what she has to do. And this is what normal people do and not what rich people normal people do. And it's just so cute. And so I think they got that from her. She's just so freaking adorable. I can't. But, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I love Haru so much. Like, even though, like, On, I still love On and I still kind of relate to On from P5. But I also relate to Haru and some things. Like, even if you look at my freaking PlayStation right now, I have on as my luck, my home screen, even though I love Haru. But I think Umi is going to be a really interesting person to add to this group. I would love to see almost, like, every single episode of her being out of touch with something that she doesn't understand. Even though it seems like we're getting that all in the span of one episode by next week, I still would like to see it in other freaking episodes because... They're going to be doing things that are going to still be, no matter what, relatively new to her that she's not going to know because she's from a different time period. Just how with my best girl, Curl Cosmo, she was from a different freaking planet and she didn't know what certain things were. The girl didn't even know what the fuck donuts was until uh, Perunzu gave her a donut. And then she was like, yeah, like mm -hmm, donuts are like the best effing thing ever. But I mean, yeah, honestly, 
she's adorable and I love her and she might have to be my new best girl for me like mm, because oh she's just so pretty and I might have to buy that harp I'm probably gonna be looking while I'm watching Pitch Perfect 3 since I haven't seen that movie either <laughs> trying to find it and then either that will be my birthday gift to me either for October or when I get paid again in October because I already know what I'm gonna buy next month so mm. But yeah, this was a really good episode. And like I said, she's ridiculously OP. And so I think that's another reason why I like her so much. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode 20 of Healing Good Pretty Here. If you guys enjoyed it, <clears throat> please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday, Sunday for episode 21. Bye, guys.